everybody god bless you and welcome back to my youtube channel i am prophet shani beckford and today as you guys can see based on the title i'm going to be sharing with you on understanding the signs that you are called to be a prophetic intercessor especially if you are called to be a prophet of god so if you are someone that values prayer places a demand on intercession you're always praying getting results when you pray and you just want to spend just spend quality time in the presence of god interceding then this is a clear sign that you may be a prophetic intercessor and you need to stay tuned for more of this video so before we even go ahead i just want to let you guys know that we have actually started our six weeks intensive school of the prophet yay it has been going amazing we have several we have a number of persons who have registered and guys we have only covered two classes so far so far rather we are doing 12 classes four courses and 12 classes we have only done two classes so far which means it is not late for you to register if you register today or even tomorrow you would have only missed out on only two classes and these classes all classes are going to be recorded so you have the opportunity to re-watch to re-watch you know if you miss something you want to re-watch a year later you'll always have access to these teachings so you can still go ahead visit my website right now register today if you want to get on a payment plan or install Installments, you can call us and you can arrange a payment plan so that way you're not missing out on the sessions we're gonna be having activities we're gonna be asking you know questions allowing you to ask as many questions as you need to ask just to ensure you have a thorough understanding so while I'm teaching students are interrupting they're asking questions we're doing prize of activation impartation and it is just it's, it's a transformational course so do not miss out on this course guys all right so Ezekiel 22 and 30 says and I saw for a man among them who should build up the wall and stand in the breach before me for the land and that and and that i should not destroy it but i found none also in isaiah 66 and verse 6 it says on your walls O jerusalem i have set watchmen all the day and all the night they shall never be silent you who put the lord in remembrance take no rest these scriptures are clearly giving instructions and helping us to understand the functionality and the ministration of a prophetic intercessor now as a prophetic intercessor you're someone that spends quality and fervent time a prophetic intercessor is someone that hears and carries the heart and the mind of god and they deal with this in the place of prayer and supplication in the presence of god so someone who is a prophetic intercessor they have the access and the ability to hear the mind of god to feel and to carry within their spirit the heart and the emotions of god concerning a certain matter whether this be within the generation the bloodline the church the nation politics whatever it is a prophetic intercessor has the ability to carry the heart and mind of god and to intercede on this matter whether they're praying to birth something out or they're praying to cancel something which is why the scripture that we just read in ezekiel 22 it says and i sought for a man that would stand and should build a wall that and should build a wall and stand in the bridge for me for the land that i I will not destroy the nation so god wanted to destroy a nation but he was waiting for a prophet that would stand in intercession to intercede for the nation that he will not destroy them in other words god is saying i will destroy a nation but if there's a prophet that will pray it will change my mind and change my heart about destroying this nation so how do you identify and know that you're called to be a prophetic intercessor sign number one you pray place a high demand and value on intercession so you are someone you don't play when it comes to the place of power please know that every prophet may carry a different functionality there's some prophets carry the same functionality but they operate in a higher level of ranking they have a higher capacity and ranking in the spirit so someone that specifies or someone whose primary function and dominant function is in prayer and intercession you're going to place a great demand and value on prayer so you may never understand why is it that people do not pray as you do you will never understand why is it that people pray for such a such a short space space of time or they don't even pray any at all and so when i speak about prayer i'm not even talking about laying in prayer for five hours i'm also talking about those that pray without ceasing where your heart is con 
consistently in a place of prayer. But there are prophets that place a demand in prayer where they pray for extended hours and there is no struggle to pray for hours. The Bible says, and Jesus said to Peter and the other disciples, can you not last an hour in prayer lest you fall into temptation? So the, the intercessor, the intercessory grace that Jesus carried had the ability and the tenacity to spend time in prayer with a divine momentum to pray beyond one hour. And so when you are a prophet and an intercessor, it may be difficult for you to understand why people cannot last at least an hour in prayer. So this tells you that as a prophetic intercessor, there is a stamp, there's a time stamp in which you must clock a certain amount of time in the spirit. So as you pray in, in, in the in intercessory grace of God as a prophet. There's some of you that may be required to pray one hour, two hours, three hours, four hours, five hours per day. For others, it is neither here nor there. But I want you to go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know how long do you believe an individual or even a prophet should spend in prayer per day. My spiritual father taught me something many years ago. He said you should not be praying less than three hours per day. So I want to know what is your take on this. And please make sure that you're liking the video. Thank you guys so much for liking the videos. I want to see again at least 200 likes on this video because the more you like the video is the more you engage and the more YouTube will push the video that many other persons can be blessed. So thank you guys for liking the previous videos and engaging. I want to see if we can get this video to also 200 likes. So another sign that you are a prophetic intercessor is... Another sign that you are a prophetic intercessor is you get significant results when you pray. So whenever you come into the place of prayer and you begin to intercede and seek the face of God, there is always results. So if you are someone that prays and you're praying for someone that is sick, you're praying for someone to get a breakthrough, to get deliverance or assistance, there is always mag magnificent results that that person has and they always testify the bible says if the fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much and for a prophetic intercessor to spend time in prayer they're fervent about praying they're going to get results so a sign you are a prophetic intercessor is you're very fervent to be fervent about something it means you're passionate about prayer so as an intercessor you're very passionate about spending time in prayer you would rather to be spending time time in prayer than watching TV all day. You would rather to be alone in the secret place, spending time with God in prayer and intercession than being out in the public socializing and spending time with, with spending time with your friends every day or every other day. Prophets love to be alone and also not only prophets but prophetic intercessors. They love to be in isolation, praying and seeking the face of God. Another sign you are a prophetic intercessor is whenever you do not pray, you feel a strong urge and conviction as a as an intercessor of god the holy spirit will often give you an urge a great urge or burden to spend time in prayer so prophetic intercessors have a desire to pray but on the other hand when you are an intercessor of god it is not a title but it is a responsibility it is a job responsibility and so with that being said the holy spirit will place a strong urge upon you or a strong burden upon you to pray for a certain matter and if you do not pray or spend time in prayer the way that you believe that you should oftentimes prophetic intercessors will begin to repent they will begin to repent for prayerlessness father i i repent and i ask that you will forgive me for not spending time in prayer as i should in fact there's some prophets that believe that they have to spend at least five hours per day every day in prayer based on the assignment based on based on the assignment and based on whatever it is that that god has given them to do in order for them to accomplish that specific task as i said every other prophet is different but as a prophetic intercessor you will have a strong urge and a strong burden to pray based on whatever assignment it is that god has placed on your heart now another sign that you're a prophetic intercessor is you have spontaneous expressions of prayer this means without even going on without even 
going into your prior closet or locking yourself somewhere private you're constantly having spontaneous outbursts of prior so you may be doing the laundry you may be cooking you may be taking a shower you may be driving to work or driving to the supermarket you constantly have breakout sessions where you're just praying in the holy ghost at the moment you begin to pray in the holy ghost something is downloaded something is the holy spirit begins to inspire you with great revelations you begin to have great encounters out of body experiences the moment you begin to pray so there's always a spontaneous expression that comes from you and you are known as that one person who is always praying you're always praying in the holy ghost because of the spontaneity of the holy spirit that comes upon you at any random time of the day or night and you just go into prayer so prophetic intercessors are not waiting on a specific time to pray they're not waiting on a specific task or urge or burden to pray it becomes a part of their lifestyle where they're praying spontaneously without there even being a need for them to actually pray so you become very spontaneous in the place of prayer Another sign you're called as a prophetic intercessor is uh, travail and groan is a common is a common language for you. When you understand the dimensions of intercession, you'll understand the, the dimension of a groan and spiritual travail. The Bible says when Zion travails, she will give forth child, she will bring forth child. There is a realm in intercession that is travail and groan, which are two of the highest dimensions in prayer. And if you are someone that spends time in intercession because you're called as a prophetic intercessor, you will understand very clearly what it means to groan in the spirit this is when you no longer have a physical language an audible language whether it is in your native tongue or in your prior language but the holy spirit begins to make intercession through you through groanings that you cannot understand so as a prophetic intercessor you understand the dimensions of groan and this is one of the things i'm going to teach about in our, our course for the january semester understanding the full depth of being an intercessor so you guys don't want to miss this course but you understand and you're very familiar with spiritual growth and spiritual travail someone that operates as a prophetic intercessor they have great intimacy with the holy spirit you cannot spend time in intercession and prayer and you don't have intimacy and relationship with God. The more you spend time with him praying is the more you know him and the more you even become like him. So this means that you are the phys you are a literal embodiment of someone that is a catalyst and carries the presence of God. This means miracles, signs and wonders will follow you. The prophetic will follow you. It is not this. This is very important. It is very possible and it is a reality that someone who is not a prophet but they are a prophetic intercessor yes you can be a prophetic intercessor but you are not a prophet but if you are a prophet there's a very 99 percent possibility that one of your functionality will be as an intercessor so it is possible for someone to be a prophetic intercessor who is not in the office of a prophet to pray so much and spend so much time with god that they develop that level of intimacy and carrying the presence of god that they prophesy with accuracy and they operate in the seer dimension, the angelic in miracle signs and wonders, even though they're not called to be a prophet. So understand that miracle signs and wonders and demonstrating and manifesting the power and the presence of God, it doesn't have anything to do with the office you carry, but it has everything to do with intimacy. So it is always most important that you have a relationship with God and have functionality as a Opposed to having a title and not having functionality or relationship with God. So that is the primary object to have a divine and intimate relationship with the Holy Spirit. Another sign that you're called as a prophetic intercessor is whenever you begin to pray, you may feel what others are feeling or you may feel what a nation is going through. So one of the things that one of the ways in which God communicates with prophets and especially prophetic intercessors is through the sensory, the sensory dimension. So some prophets will know what they need to pray about based on the feeling that they have. There's some prophets that will feel the wrath and the anger of God and then they will pray for 
mercy that the judgment of God does not destroy a nation. Some prophets will carry the burden and the sadness of the Holy Spirit because there is sinfulness and there is so much idolatry that is in the nation and they will pray for repentance and pray for salvation. So prophets and intercessory prophets are able to feel the heart of God concerning a matter and based on the burden that is on your spirit, you will pray until you get a divine release. You will pray until that feeling of heaviness, sadness, or sorrow, or destruction is lifted from your, is lifted from your spirit, basically. Another sign, I hope you guys can relate to this. If you can, leave it in the comment section. Another sign that you are a prophetic intercessor is you know the secret place of God. As an intercessor, you know the secret place of God. You're not someone that comes into the outer court, but you have already sojourned from going through the outer court, passing the bronze lavar, going into the secret place of God behind the veil. You have now been you have no experience. I won't say being given access. You have no experience the secret place of God because you would have come to a place of consecration and you would have spent so much time in the presence of God in intercession that God has granted you access and permission to come behind the veil and to come into the secret place of God. A prophetic intercessor is someone that does not stop until you have felt a level of satisfaction in the spirit. So as an intercessor, you do not pray because you feel that God is not answering. There's a difference. There are some people that will pray and they feel that God is not hearing. God is not responding. And so they stop praying. And then there are prophetic intercessors. These are the ones that will pray the heart and mind of God. And they will not get up until God responds. What did I say? They will not get up until God responds. This means if they have to spend hours and days, they're staying in the presence of God until they get an answer so when prophetic intercessors pray they usually come out of prayer with answers and direction and that is something that is that that makes a significant difference between someone that prays casually and someone that prays because there is a demand for a response in the spirit when there is a demand for a response it fuels your passion and your desire your commitment and consistency in the place of prayer and so prophetic intercessors will be able to will be able to testify to the fact that they do not come out of prayer until they have gotten results and they have seen answers whilst they were in the place of prayer. So you have a strong desire to pray. You place great demand and reverence on prayer. You do not stop praying until you have gotten answers. You do not stop praying until the burden of God has lifted from your spirit. You have spontaneity in the place of prayer. You don't have to be called or influenced or inspired by the Holy Spirit to pray. It is a spontaneous act. It's, it's a lifestyle for you to spend time in prayer. You're someone that is very passionate about spending prolonged period and hours in his presence because you just want to spend time with him. And I'm going to share with you the different... I'm also going to share with you guys. Should I wait until the next upload to share this? Or should I share it with you now? There are what is called specialties in the spirit that certain prophets are assigned to pray about particularly. And I'll share, I'll share maybe four or five with you guys. So there are some prophets, their specialty or primary assignment in the spirit is intercessory warfare. So there are some prophets and some intercessory prophetic people that will intercede through spiritual warfare. This means if there is any warfare in the spiritual realm, in the nation, in a city or that is happening in the world or within the church there are some intercessors that will pray and they will fight in the spirit in spiritual warfare until there is an answer until there is a resolution until something has shifted whether they're dealing with a strong man whether they're dealing with a marine aquatic spirit whether they're dealing with ancestral ancient spirits whatever the spirit is or spiritual darkness it is that they're fighting against the spirit of god will be their strength 
strength and pray and fight through them until there has been an answer. So some of you may experience you're always praying spiritual warfare prayers. It is completely fine. You must be able to be able to distinguish is it a spiritual warfare against your life or is it something that God has me to intercede about where a nation is concerned or even a church is concerned. There are some who are transformational intercessors. This means they will pray for a city or a nation or even a country until there is divine transformation. So this means there is going to be transformation where souls are coming to God. Salvation is coming. Where there is a change in certain community development programs, etc. But as a prophetic intercessor, you will pray until there is transformation and change in your community, in your region, and even in your church. So for those of you that are saying, I go to a prophetic church and there is, I go to a church rather, there is no prophetic, they don't worship, they don't pray in tongues, nothing is happening in this church. Maybe God has placed this burden upon your heart and you're frustrated because God wants you to be that person that will intercede for there to be a transformation within your church or even within your area. I'll give you guys two more. There's some intercessors that are crisis intercessors. This means, for example, the war that is going on, the war that is going on with Israel. There's some, there's some intercessors that will pray for peace. They will pray for divine settlement. They will pray for answers. They will pray that the wars will cease. When we were going through the pandemic uh, several years ago, there are intercessors that God will raise up or that God has risen up in that time that will pray, that will pray that the church will not be in the families will not be infected that this virus will literally cease in the powerful and mighty name of Jesus so there are some prophets that will intercede and pray against crisis some of these prophets are those who are called the Issachar prophets the Issachar intercessors they have the ability to see things before they happen and so they know how to pray and what to pray about they know what to pray about how to pray what posture to pray in what timing in which to pray in the position they should be in to pray for certain answers because they have already been given access and they have privy they're privy to the information of heaven and they see things before they happen so that gives them all the right and the jurisdictional authority to pray before even things happen in the earth realm sometimes you will see people will say oh there's a natural disaster that is about to happen let us pray not only do they send a word of warning but they begin to pray and intercede that the heart of God will change and that his judgment will not be upon us but he will extend mercy to us rather than judgment there's some prophetic intercessors that hear about natural disasters it's not that God wants you to go and warn everybody but sometimes he wants you to lock in a prayer closet and he wants you to pray and intercede the final specialty I want to share with you is political intercessors there are intercessors that God is raising up that will pray concerning the politics and the government of a nation some persons will be able to understand how is it that God wants the political leaders to govern over the country is the governance of the country in alignment to the system of heaven and so based on the knowledge that God has revealed to you as a political intercessor you know how to pray for the leaders in politics and government you know what changes need to be prayed about you know what laws need to be prayed about you understand certain things in the spirit where laws and precepts are concerned and you know exactly how to pray based on the political arena or the governmental sphere so there are many different there are many different specialties that intercessors can pray about based on your assignment and your burden but these were just the name of you and these signs were signs just the name of you to be honest but if you can relate to any of the signs I've shared with you I want you to go ahead and put it in the comment section please know you may not be one of those prophets that will preach that will lay hands that will start churches but your 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 functionality may literally be to spend time in the prayer of God, seeking his face and praying for the divine will of God in the earth realm, that there will be a birthing and a manifestation of the possibilities of heaven until it becomes an earthly reality. Or maybe you will pray against the judgment, the wrath of God, or you will pray against the, the warfare and the onslaught attacks of hell that wants to come into a nation to affect our families, our children. Please understand that intercession is very very important it is something that will protect and cover and keep our children from the different uh from the different um 
the different sicknesses and viruses that's going around, the different satanic agendas that are being pushed for homosexuality, etc., is concerned. So you have to be very intentional when it comes to the place of prayer and intercession. It plays a very vital role in the kingdom of heaven. So pay attention to whatever it is that God wants you to intercede about. If you are blessed by this, leave it in the comment section. Please remember, let's get this video to at least 200 likes. If you found it to be a blessing and helpful to you and as i mentioned before our six weeks school of the prophet intense program is still open go ahead and call us today or visit our website and enroll for this course today you're getting four courses only for the price of one it is very transformational and life-changing you don't want to miss out on this god bless you guys i'm prophet shani beckford have a wonderful rest of the day